Today we're going to learn how to manually lubricate an instrument. Instrument lubrication, sometimes called instrument milk because of its white color, is applied to instruments with moving parts to ensure their ongoing function and reduce wear and tear over time. The supplies that we need to perform instrument lubrication include our correct PPE, which is our gloves because instrument lubrication is a chemical, we need our instrument with a moving part. In this case, we have a needle holder with a box lock. So we need to lubricate the box lock. We need our lubrication container. We have a box here. Of course, you need your instrument lubricant and then a soft cloth just in case. The first step to lubricating an instrument is setting up our lubrication container. So we're gonna open up the box and there's a little tray in here that sits on the edge. So we're gonna hook it on the edge there. Then we're going to open up our instrument and set it inside of the tray, exposing the parts that we want to lubricate. Next, we're going to read the instructions on the back of our lubricant to see if we need to either dilute it or perform any other functions before using. This one says we need to shake well before using, so we're gonna give it a good shake. Then we're going to apply it to our instrument only at the point where it needs to be lubricated, the moving point. So in this case, just apply to the box lock, one spritz on that side, flip it over, one spritz on this side. And then once we are done, we're going to move the instrument to make sure that the lubricant gets in between the moving parts and make sure that there isn't anything that feels like friction. If so, we would reapply lubricant. And then if there happens to be any excess lubricant, we can use our soft cloth to wipe off the instrument, although the instructions on the bottle say we don't need to. Then we're going to reassemble our station. And that is how to manually lubricate an instrument.